On the last video, I showed you my first skiing experience. Today, I will be taking you to downtown Aspen, the Rio Grande Trail, and an incredible snowshoe tour up Ajax Mountain. If this is your first time here and you would like to see travelers who journey to places around the globe, please subscribe to this channel. Just relaxing today. We may ride the uh, silver gondola, which is goes up to the top of the mountain in, in Aspen. Not sure if we're gonna do that because I think the snowshoe actually requires us to go up that route. So we'll see. But we're gonna have fun regardless. Of. This is Aspen Mountain right here. We're in downtown Aspen. Just got off the bus stop at Ruby Park. Exploring the city. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Definitely got a Christmas vibe going on right now, Christina. We're going to the John Denver Sanctuary here. Aspen Theater, it's a football field out here. It's a nice little park though, Christina. Yeah, here we are, about to go to John Denver Sanctuary. Excited, about to see your, I think it's the Rio Grande. Is it Rio Grande, Christina? Yeah. It's the Rio Grande. Apparently it's really beautiful. So, one of the guides or whatever, the informational desk lady told us to go there. That's the uh, city hall right there. Yeah, it's the John Denver Sanctuary where they have a pretty, it's a pretty pond over here, but it's clearly iced over. Look at that, babe. We found John's song, apparently. John Denver got inspired to write a song over here. Whoever John is. John Denver. Oh, John Denver. John Denver, that's why I was singing Country Road. Oh, he wrote two songs. John Denver loved himself some Colorado. Coming up to the gondola now. The Silver Queen Gondola. We're on the top of the top of Ajax Mountain. Took the gondola up. It's gorgeous up here. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it's actually prettier than Snowmass. The Snowmass was not 
Ugly. That's my lovely wife right here. Christina! Oh my gosh, babe. Was it worth it? About to take the snowshoe store. Yeah, sitting at the top of the sun deck, top of Aspen or Ajax Mountain. Look at the views. Just right outside us. Just put on my snowshoes here. Pretty cool. Getting a tour right now. The tour's about to start. It's Christina and Christina, you feel like you're going into the unknown? <laughs> so I've been talking about the boreal forest and I've mentioned spruce and fir trees. Right now here we are in a little patch of forest and we are surrounded by both spruce and fir trees. So we have two species of tree that predominantly grow at this altitude in this part of Colorado. And that's the Engelmann spruce and the subalpine fir. And from a distance, they look fairly similar. They're hard to tell apart. Um, but if you get up close and you look at the needles, then you can really make out the difference between the two. And it's pretty strong. Um, right now, I am in the shadow of a spruce tree. And behind me is a fir tree. This one standing here. You can see where this one starts and ends it, its trunk versus this big guy with its branches and its needles here. So you can see these different tracks that you see here. See this really interesting. Oh, I see that. Can you guys can you see that going that way? Yeah. You know, it's kind of hard with the shadows now. But guys, right here, we've got two different really unique tracks. Wow of um, some really amazing animals that we find here up in the boreal or alpine or subalpine zone. Um, we've got a uh, long-tailed weasel, which are these larger tracks that you see here. And we've got some vole tracks. And so these ones here, you can see all four feet and it's a very small animal. It's a small rodent. Basically a vole is a mountain mouse. And so this is an animal that's just hopping along on top of the snow but will actually spend most of its winter under the snow, right? So under the snow, it's gonna be insulated by the snow. It's gonna be acting like an igloo. It's so beautiful up here. Unbelievable. Unbelievably beautiful. Causes a big chunk of snow that's cohesive together. It's kind of like a single sheet of plywood to slide all together. So you've got cohesive snow, right? The snow that's sticking together on top of snow from the early season, which has had a chance to melt and refreeze and melt and refreeze. It causes it to become really pebbly, right? So that pebbly snow, it's like ball bearings. And then the new powder that came down on Friday, it formed a sheet like a sheet of plywood. So you've got plywood on top of ball bearings on a 45 degree slope. The next thing you need is a trigger, somebody walking this way, and suddenly you've got an avalanche, right? So that's what we have here. And this was a small one, you know, obviously, it didn't really go much past the, the trees here. Um, but this is a really cool example of like the type of conditions that cause these avalanches to go, and some of them are really big. And Going downhill now. It's very slippery. Awesome mountain views on both sides. Wow. Christina, a little winded after the tour. <laughs> Because we found out we're only using two thirds of our oxygen or our lungs right now because we're so high, high altitude, high in the mountains. So much fun. Beautiful. 
I'm not that wraps up my adventures in Aspen. Next, I will be flying out to Europe, heading first to England, followed by a stay in the beautiful French Riviera, checking out Nice and Monaco.